Hey, this is Mikey here with another After Effects tutorial, and sometimes some words are too small to read, and so you need a magnifying glass, and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do in this tutorial. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, so here we are in After Effects. I already have created my background, and this is a paper texture with, you can see on there, some words are too small to read and I've put a vignette on it and I've just pre-comped it all together into one background layer. Now, the only thing you need with this is a picture or an illustration of a magnifying glass. So, this is the one I have and I have it as a, uh, as a Photoshop file so there's no background. Um, but what I do have is you can see this glass part isn't transparent at all. Let me lock this back layer. This glass part isn't transparent, and naturally it's not magnifying. So, first thing to do in this is we need to set up this magnifying glass so it looks like it's transparent and it's glass. And the easiest way to do this is to take this layer and to duplicate it. Let's just hide the back layer for now. And then take this front layer and grab your circle mask. Hold down shift to keep it a perfect circle. And we want to grab just the glass part. OK. Now let's take that mask and instead of add, let's go to subtract. So it looks like that. And then we take this bottom layer, turn that back on. OK, now that we have that on overlay, we can just go into opacity. I just hit T on the keyboard. I'm going to bring that down. So just to have a little bit of a glass feel to it, and I can actually come in here to um, effects, color correction, and just bring in some curves to try to maybe uh, get some more contrast on that. Just to get some of um, less less white and more of this highlight. Okay, so let's take these two and let's take this glass and parent it to the handle. And now, as I move it around, the glass will move with it. So that is the first step. The next step is I need to make it so everything, um, you know, magnifies. So what I want to do here is let's grab this and stick it in a spot. And I've got my rulers on. If you don't have them, it's just Command or Control R. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ruler marks and I'm just going to mark the center. And since I have a mask, it automatically puts these four points and I can just line up these rulers with this. And that should be the center of the magnifying glass. So then I can come to this glass. I'm going to hit Y for my pan behind tool right here and just grab my anchor point and let's center that anchor point around the glass. That'll just make things a little bit easier. Okay, so now let's bring in a new adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer, I want to go beneath the two magnifying glass layers. And on this adjustment layer, let's go to Effect, Distort, and I want Magnify, and then Effect, Distort, Bulge. And let's turn off Bulge for now, and let's go into Magnify. Let's. This is the, the shape that we're going to be, this is the effect that we're going to be using to magnify, doing most of the work, so we can... Let's bring this up really big just so it's easy to tell what's going on. Now the thing about this effect is you would think, okay, let's just parent this adjustment layer to this and it should work fine, but no, it doesn't work fine. If I take this adjustment layer and move it around, it doesn't move the magnification. It's kind of locked to where it is. So how you move that is this center right here. So now that I have these guidelines here, I can center that. And then let's go into where it says the size. 
and let's get this size to be the right size and in order to make that so it is now um, linked to it or parented to it let's go into the effect down here in the timeline go to magnify position so we go to the center and we're going to option click on the stopwatch and then just keep um, pick with that to the position there and I accidentally hit undo and it undid my size so 215 on that so now when I take this magnifying glass and move it the magnify will track to it pretty cool okay next let's go into the bulge and we want to do the same thing the bulge center I can just take that and pick with that to the center of the magnifying glass and then the bulge radius is set at 50 right here I want to option option click on it and then let's pick with this to the size of the magnify and we need to do that to the vertical radius as well okay and then we can go into this bulge and the bulge height we can adjust that a little bit and maybe the taper radius okay so it's starting to look good and what I like to do now is let's take this glass and let's just lock that lock the back layer lock this adjustment layer so now when I just grab it will only grab my magnifying glass so a couple of things to make this um, even a little bit nicer is let's add a little bit of a darkness kind of around this edge let's go to this adjustment layer let's unlock it and I want to then let's go to effect color correction exposure and let's bring down the exposure that's gonna bring it down everywhere but I don't want it to be down everywhere I just want it to be a part of this glass so let's go back into this adjustment layer and let's let's add another circle mask remember to hold shift while you do it and it'll keep a perfect circle okay now if I take this mask and I duplicate it let's take the second one subtract and then let's bring in the expansion and let's feather that and you can see here I've actually made a little bit of a mistake so what I want to do is I don't want to put this on the same adjustment layer so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this adjustment layer I'm going to duplicate it and then on this bottom adjustment layer I'm going to delete the two masks on this top adjustment layer well, and on this bottom one I need to delete exposure and on this top adjustment layer I need to delete bulge and magnify there we go so the top one is just um, going to darken and this bottom one is going to magnify now before I do anything I need to take both of these and parent it to the handle this one will work with the the masks on it so it's parented to that and maybe that's a little bit too dark so I can go back up to this dark end and bring that up a little bit go into the mask grab the second mask and Maybe feather it a little bit more. And there we have a finished magnifying glass effect. So all I have to do is grab this handle and move it around, and we have a magnifying glass. Now, in my example, I had it kind of go in and out of focus. And that's some kind of extra little things I did where I, uh, I added a blur to one of these adjustment layers to the magnify one and I attach the blur to the scale of the magnifying glass 
And so what I'm doing is I'm going to teach you just the basics here. And what I have done is I've created a template that you can download for free where you can just grab this and just all you have to do is plop in your text and things like that. So let me show you this template really quickly. And just drag and drop it into After Effects. And, and then it brings in this folder called magnify.aet. And if I come in here, there is um, an assets folder and then a magnify comp. And the way this template works is you need to put whatever you want into this magnify comp. So, for example, I double clicked on this magnify comp. Let's take this paper solid, drop it in there, and then let's put some text. Actually, let's just go into, um, let's grab this background I've already created and drop it in there, put it behind, and then I can grab this magnify layer and move it around. Now, to adjust things in this template, if I go to position, I've mapped the size, the, the amount of magnification to the Z space because Z space doesn't work with this setup as far as how 3D works. So at 100% it'll be, and I can go up bigger or smaller until the point where it's not magnified at all. Now that's that. Now if I go to scale, scale will make it bigger and kind of blur out make sure that I'm holding down shift as I scale or I can just scale down here and that's how you kind of use the template it's pretty easy to use it's free to download all you have to do is just click right here on the screen on the annotation and it'll take you to where you can fill out uh, the form and download this free template or you can just click on the link in the description so thanks for watching I hope you learned something great and if you did please consider sharing this video to your friends on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or whatever your social media of choice is. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will get to them. You can go look through some of my old videos and you'll know that I do respond to people's comments and I answer people's questions. So thanks for watching and see you next time.